Baby Archie joined his parents Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for a historic meeting with Desmond Tutu in Cape Town. Here's how Archie's first royal outing compares to that of his big cousin Prince George. Baby Archie Harrison made his first official royal outing today when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry took him along to meet South African civil rights legend Desmond Tutu. Baby Archie is the first biracial baby in the British royal family and his meeting with the anti-apartheid campaigner Archbishop Tutu marks a monumental moment in royal history. Baby Archie joined his parents to meet Nobel Peace Prize winner Desmond Tutu and his wife Leah in Cape Town. Noi Sussex's de Gap Tutu's Tai Kui Tu Thien Ku Ho, Ho Dong De Thuk De Ho Abin Vakat Noi Live Oi Noi Dan O Nam Phi. Fans were delighted to see four-month-old Archie out and about with his parents in public at last. Little Archie was all smiles in his mum Megan's arms as Archbishop Tutu cooed over him. So how does Archie's big outing compare to that of his big cousin Prince George's? Prince George was eight months old when he embarked on his first royal tour, making his first royal trip appearance in New Zealand in 2011. The youngster joined his parents' gate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William for a 10-day tour of New Zealand. While Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did not have an official welcome at Cape Town's airport on Monday, the Cambridge family did in New Zealand. Although Meghan was snapped leaving Cape Town airport with Archie in her arms, it was not an official engagement. The Cambridges on the other hand, were photo-ready when they landed in Wellington on April 7, 2014. Gate wore a stunning red dress coat and hat while baby George looked adorable in cream. He wore a knitted wool cardigan and cream shoes to match as he and his parents stepped off the plane. The Cambridges were met at the airport by important New Zealand officials. Wellington Mayor Celia Wade Brown and her husband Alistair Nicholson were there as were New Zealand's Prime Minister John Key and his wife Brona Key. George's first official royal tour engagement marked the start of a three-week tour of New Zealand and Australia with his parents. Archie's outfit was distinctly more modern than Prince George's on his first outing. The Sussex baby wore blue and white striped dungarees over a wide cotton top. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex delighted royal fans all around the world on Wednesday when they took their baby son Archie Harrison on his first engagement in Cape Town, South Africa. Their baby son, four months, was beaming with joy as his mum Meghan held him in her arms as they made their way to meet Archbishop Desmond Tutu at his Legacy Foundation. Archie's presence was first made known to the public on the Sussex Royals Instagram stories, which shared two sweet videos of the royal baby with his parents. Archie looked adorable dressed in a pair of light blue dungarees believed to be from age and dem, teamed with a white t-shirt and matching socks. This was the first time that Archie had been seen properly in public, making the engagement even more special. Going back to 2014, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's first-born son Prince George went on his first royal tour, accompanying his parents on their trip to New Zealand and Australia. George was a bit older than Archie was when he joined his mum and dad at eight months old, and was seen on several occasions over the 19-day trip. Events included a playdate with other local families on the family's second day in New Zealand, where he too wore a pair of blue dungarees and a white t-shirt. George also went to visit the Bilby enclosure at Taranga Zoo in Sydney, Australia, where he enthusiastically smiled as he met the animals. Archie's much-anticipated appearance marks the second time since his christening in July that he has been seen. The event was a private affair although two photos of the royal baby were released, and he was pictured a few weeks later at a charity polo match with Meghan. George on the other hand, had been pictured on more occasions prior to his first royal tour? Another difference between the Archie and George's first royal tours is the length of the trips. Meghan and Harry's tour is 10 days, and they have made sure that Archie is with them at all times. Meghan has incorporated her son's feeding schedule into the trip and while they have been working he has been looked after by a royal nanny close by. In contrast, William and Kate's trip was a lot longer with them going away for 19 days. In that time, they spent two nights away from George. Whenever George went on the engagements with his parents during the royal tour, he was deemed the star of the show, and there is no doubt that Archie will be the same. 
Harry and Meghan have spoken about their little boy on many occasions since landing in Cape Town on Monday. On Tuesday Meghan had opened up about life as a parent when she and Harry were invited to meet a Muslim Cape Town family, and have afternoon tea in their home. Wacy from a giant, a friend of the hosts Shamila and Ibrahim Samodian, said of Meghan, she was speaking about motherhood and the transition and said that Archie was a good traveler. She said the transition was quite smooth because he's an easy baby and he was an easy traveler, Harry said he slept on his chest almost 11 hours, during the flight. Nazli Ebros Fakir, who had also joined Harry and Meghan for tea, recalled her conversation with the royal couple about their baby son. She said Meghan had said, he's just really, really happy and an easy traveler. He's having a ball of a time, screaming and shouting. Of Harry, she recalled, quant, his dad couldn't stop talking about him being so happy here in Cape Town and he's also so happy to be here with his family in Africa, which he loves. 